Hey guys, welcome to episode 43 of Tourney Career Mode. We are really nearing the end of the season now, and there's just uh, four games left, and two of them will be in today's episode. Also in today's episode, there will be a squad report. Uh, if you're not interested in seeing the games, then skip to about five minutes, I would say. And yeah, I put some music in the back of uh, in the background of the squad report. And also today, we see the... Um, players who accepted their contracts we offered i believe we offered some players uh from the may boost contracts in the last episode and we see them come in today and the first chance and the first goal would come in the 12th minute and unfortunately i had to blame brignoli for this and he didn't really have the best of episodes um in this episode because he probably should have saved that it was a good accurate shot but there was no shot power on it at all and i expected him to be down low to get that so yeah he pr he's probably at blame for that goal and unfortunately do we do go one nil down in the 12th minute in a game we probably would should be expect a winning if we're going to try and get top six which we probably have said goodbye to the Europa League already but we're going to try for it and luckily we get Deander to block it here in the 54th minute otherwise it would be 2-0 and the game would be over and in the 62nd minute Fet Fat Cedis picks up the ball takes it past Rujas, pass it in towards Anthony Modest, he's got options in the middle, one is Tino Costa, and his header goes just over the bar, and the game does finish 1-0, Disappointed to lose here. We did not play well, and now is the youth stuff. We have a youth squad. Oh, sorry, a monthly scouting report from Italy. Uh, I'm not going to reject any of these players just because I want to get them all to the final scout report, and then I'll choose to reject them or not. And also, we have some players from Norway on a monthly scouting report. Didn't sign any of them players either. And also, Felipe Feola, Oli Martin Madsen, and Daniel Franson all accepted their contracts. You'll see these players now. Daniel Franson, 63 overall, six. 16 year old centre back. He looks really good. I'll probably play him quite a lot. Filippo Fiola, 67 overall. 17 year old CDM from Italy. He will go straight into the starting lineup. And also, this guy will as well. Oli Martin Madsen, 67 overall. 16 year old centre mid. He will go straight into the team for this match against Juventus. Where I have my new centre mid pairing now uh, in Oli Martin Madsen and Filippo Fiola. Only three games left in the season. Unfortunately, we're not in the top half anymore. We do drop down to 11th, which is really disappointing. Something I will be working on next season is consistency and probably get some more goal scorers in because we have, uh, like, uh, Buzhinov is like 28 or uh, sorry no 29 or 30 and his stats like his physical stats are going down so much so we'll probably need to replace him with like Avenatti or someone and the first chance and unfortunately the first goal would come in the fourth minute and Brignoli is to blame for this goal as well as Morata picks up the ball he barely celebrates because he knows that was a massive mistake by the goalkeeper uh, one thing I always say on FIFA the amount of goals you score, if the goalkeeper just stays still, doesn't dive and just put his hands out, he would have saved it. That was the case here as well. And also in the 19th minute, they would have another chance in Morata and another goal in Morata where Brignoli, I hate to blame him once again, but I have to because he should have been guarding his no near poster. He left way too much space open. And what, then when he did try and save it, he tried to save it with his knee. What is that? What goalkeeper in real life ever saves a shot with their knee? And they actually actually mean it in the and Morata gets his sixth goal in the Serie A this season in the 38th minute another chance for Juve and you call this brilliant passing play that's two passes three passes here Asamoah takes on his man passes it that's five into Morata is six over to Tevez is seven into Strado is eight Moroni nine back into Tevez ten and this was one of the best passing goals I've ever conceded because it was just absolutely brilliant play and then the finish was good luckily I didn't blame Brignoli for this but unfortunately you would go into half time three nil down really good play and then Tevez has just hit it off the post and in and Tevez is the top goal scorer and he adds this one to his collection so to get his 21st goal in the Serie A this season in the 60th minute they would have another chance for Morata to get his hat trick but Alberto Massi makes one of the blocks of his life and keeps it only 3-0 which is a bad scoreline but unfortunately um, Alberto Massi just after making a good block he obviously his confidence was running high because he absolutely takes out Caceres here in the box and the referee does rightly give it a penalty and Massi gets the yellow card would Tevez be able to get his 
seven, se uh, <laughs> what am I trying to say there? Twenty second goal. No, he wouldn't. Because Brignoli redeems himself and makes an amazing save. But they would get their fourth goal here with Dominic Berardi in the eighty second minute. So speaking about the penalty, good save from Brignoli. Uh, he was not uh, running high on confidence. And when he saved that, I'm sure that would uh, make me not drop him for Carlson. Uh, I think it's Carlson, our rotation goalkeeper. But I'm not going to dr drop Rignoli because he's been brilliant this season. And now here is the squad report. I'll put some music on the in the background. Enjoy it and I'll see you.